typed in those menu options. And then I went and typed them in again, right? So let's say that I wanted a tree view on one page and a menu on another page. That'd be probably a dumb idea, but let's say I did. Well, maybe not. Maybe I have the menu for my navigation and I have a sitemap page that has a tree view. That's, that's fair. That's legit, I suppose. I would have to go in and duplicate that. And I'd have to type in, if I was doing it this way, I'd have to type in the values into the menu, then type in the values into the tree view. As soon as I said the words, I'd have to do it again, sirens should go off in your head. You should actually hear sirens, all right? Because you're repeating yourself. You're doing it again. So the question we have to ask is, is there a way where we can put something in one place and reuse it? And that is a concept of binding. We're going to create an XML file for our sitemap. And then instead of manually typing in the menu items and manually typing in the tree nodes, we are going to bind those controls, those visual controls, to a data source. Again, separation between the data and the presentation. Wherever you have separation, that's a good thing because it lends to reusability. Because you now have a little building block that you can use over and over and over again. Now, that allows us to change one thing without having to change the other. So, for example, if I started out with a menu and I decided I wanted a tree view instead, I don't have to go and recreate all the links. I just bind it to the same source of data. Or like I said, if I wanted a sitemap page that had a tree view and the rest of my pages had a, a menu for navigation, I wouldn't have to duplicate all those and every time a page changed, go in and change both of them. I could just go and bind it to that. When we start getting into database stuff, we'll, we're going to be binding data sources to visual controls, you know, up, right, left, down, every direction possible. We're going to, we're going to do a lot of that. So this is our first introduction to that particular technique. How familiar are any of you with XML? Not very familiar? Okay, we'll give you uh, next time an XML 101 course then to just sort of hit the highlights on what all XML is about. All right, questions. I will post this example, and when we'll see over in lab.